the Vax DR and Double Vax, Double Pfizer. Are you getting any wind noise? Like it's a pretty substantial. Okay, maybe it's not, I don't know. I think I'm just out of shape. Like out of cycling shape. I've been trying to stay active and healthy with my partner going to the gym and stuff, but not really cardio. Skull day distance wise, I would just want to make it to Nova Scotia. Beyond that, I doesn't really matter. So sign there is the left to Montague. I you might be pronouncing that completely wrong, but that's where we're heading. Average speed is on flat road. Uh, last year we averaged like 20 kilometers, give or take, on flat with on a non-windy day, um, depending. A nice smooth tarmac, like might be averaging more like 22. A little bit rougher, more like 18, 19. And then that changes moment to moment based off of uh, what's going on. Oh, this is a nice shoulder. Let's see how long we get to keep this one. Uh, darn, with the three month. Race out, thank you very much. Get good internet here. Uh, we're just outside a town called Cardigan. It's very small, probably the village of anything. But uh, we'll probably lose it pretty soon. The network here in PEI has been very poor. All the way to BC. I started in BC and then went east from there. And now we're in Atlantic Canada. Smooth road, yeah, this is pretty ideal. If you have to be on a road with like 80 km an hour speed limits, like, it doesn't really get much better than this. Smooth, good shoulder, no complaints. Been streaming no I haven't streamed full-time since I ended the cycling trip last year in September and there's only like a few streams after that last time I streamed it all was Christmas it's the ferry cost I think walk-ons were like 18 bucks or something but uh, we'll confirm when we get there but the funny thing about Prince Edward Island is no matter how you come to Prince Edward Island, it's free. If you take the Confederation Bridge, it's free. If you take the ferry that we're about to take to Prince Edward Island, it's free. But any way you decide to leave, you gotta pay to leave. Mendeler with the three-month reset. Thank you very much for the three. Now have the uh, the dinger. She's there. She had to mount her awkwardly on my uh, top tube of my bike. <laughs> like Hotel California. Yeah. You can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Insert guitar solo. Tolls on a bike. Uh, 
No, I don't have to pay highway tolls. I have ridden on toll highways. I think actually in Nova Scotia. <laughs> There's not actually that many toll highways in Canada. There's some toll bridges. Rob CD. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Number one, the hitch. Usually stream hitchhiking, but pandemic season is long distance cycling touring season. So welcome to the cycling stream. Haven't streamed in a long time, but now I can finish the trip I started last year. Last year I rode this bike from Vancouver Island, Western Canada, to Halifax, Nova Scotia, Eastern Canada. But I wasn't allowed to go to Prince Edward Island, which is where we are right now nor Newfoundland, which is where I was planning on finishing. So now we're finishing what we started. But Rob, thank you very much. Hope you had a good stream. Everyone welcome to Hitch. What was Rob up to? Someone was telling me that he streamed uh, climbing Mount Fuji recently, which sounds awesome. Uh, two hour view with the one 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 bits. Thank you. Uh, if you're just joining, we're trying a new setup. We got this third person camera, and uh, I got a lav mic, a uh, wireless mic, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, but here on Prince Edward Island, the network's been really poor. If I'm not immediately like in a town, uh, so <laughs> we might get sent to uh, our disconnect screen, which just plays clips from class stream, some little highlight reel. That seems to be working over here right now. Climbed it on Tuesday. I'd love to do that one day. Do you know how long it took him? Like how much of a climb is it? It's pretty substantial. Hope we can ride together sometime. I would love that. That'd be great. I, uh, well, 2019. I hitchhiked uh, from southern Japan to northern Japan. Uh, where did I fly into? Nagasaki to, and then I hitchhiked all the way up to northern Hokkaido. Um, making a ton of detours along the way, but that was quite the trip. I've, I've heard Japan's quite good for uh, touring on, on a bike, so I'd love to maybe do a tour. I, maybe like, let's say you like, fly to the southern part with your bike, ride to the northern part, drop off your bike and like ship it home or somewhere else and then hitchhike back down to the south. Go there and back again, bike one way, hitchhike the other. 